Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Rustam 2, India's most ambitious powerful UV project was supposed to undergo trials in April this year. The trial was planned from the test range in Karnataka's Chitradurga to fly more than 18 hours at a height of over 27,000 feet. However, the second developmental trial of the drone got delayed due to sudden surge in the coronavirus cases in India. Recently, an RFP was issued by DRDO's ADE, Aeronautical Development Establishment, in which it sought for a development come production agency. According to reports, a group of three private and four public sector companies would compete for the production rights of Rustam 2, also known as Tapas or Tactical Advanced Platform for Aerial Surveillance. The private companies included are Larsen & Turbo, Tata Power SED, Gothridge Airspace Limited, and the public sector companies are HL and BL, which are also included in the joint bid. However, it seems that HL is winning the bid. It has recently released the list of their projects under which Rustam 2 was also mentioned. This has raised speculations that HL and BEL would have won the bid for the production of Rustam 2. Now, as we all know that Indian private sector companies have very little experience with developing UAVs and other aerial vehicles compared to HL. Their experience is limited to certain components being supplied to aircraft manufacturers such as HL. Therefore, entry of HL and BEL will be a very tough challenge for the private sectors. The other challenge before the private companies is the cost of the bid. Unlike public sector firms like HL and BEL, private companies will have to set up their entire infrastructure from scratch to develop the drones, which will further bump up the cost of the overall bid. Experience and costly manpower remains the other problems before the private firms. It is therefore highly probable that consortium of HL and BEL would win the contract. However, private companies will still be the major contributor in the drone's development. The development of Rustam 2 has involved numerous private industries which helped in supplying the critical systems such as avionic systems, airframe, landing gear, flight control among the other components. HL could act as a lead integrator assembling the components and delivering the final product. The avionics, electronics, sensors and ground control system could be manufactured by BEL in which it has extensive experience. The data link for the Rustam 2 will be developed by DRDO's Defense Electronic Application Laboratory, Dehradun. Many private sector firms remain enthusiastic about participating in advanced drone projects but lack expertise and sometimes funding which among the other things have played a spoil sports undermining any path-breaking outcomes. Therefore, government should also encourage private ecosystem as this seems to be losing race before the public sector giants like HL and BEL. Talking about the Rustam drones, they are the unmanned aerial vehicles developed by DRDO. It is a medium altitude long endurance drone being developed primarily to replace Israeli Heron drones operated by Indian Armed Forces. While Heron drones are primarily used for surveillance and reconnaissance, Rustam 2, also known as Tapas BH, will be armed with air to surface missiles and laser guided bombs. Rustam 2 drones will also be capable of carrying a variety of payloads such as synthetic aperture radar, electronic intelligence system, and situational awareness systems. The total payload capacity of Rustam 2 is going to be 350 kgs. Rustam 2 will be powered by two NPO Saturn 36 MT engines, wing mounted turboprop, each capable of generating power of 100 horsepower. The drone can cruise at a speed of 125 to 175 km per hour with a maximum speed of 225 km per hour. The UAV will have a ferry range of 1000 km and a service ceiling of 27,000 km. Rustam 2 will be equipped with advanced technologies and systems such as aerodynamic configuration, high aspect ratio wing, composite airframe integrated with propulsion system, dicing systems for the wing. It will have highly reliable systems with built-in redundancy for flight critical systems like flight control and navigation, data links, power management 
and mission critical payload management system. Rustam 2 will also have digital flight control and navigation system, automatic takeoff and landing, digital communication technologies for realizing data links to control and operate the missions and relay UAVs. The payloads integrated with Rustam 2 will provide high resolution and precision stabilized platforms. The later prototypes of Rustam 2 involve the integration of a solid state relay based low power weight distribution unit, a domestically built inertial navigation system, and most recently, the critical satellite communication SATCOM link and the lithium ion batteries. The project has been the hallmark of Make in India initiative, and once operational, the UAV will serve all services of Army, Navy, and Indian Air Force. The drone is expected to go for final trials this year, and we could soon see operationalization of Rustam 2 within the Indian Armed Forces, supplementing the advanced imported fleets of drones currently in service. Rustam 2 is expected to significantly boost the forces' operation on the border with China and Pakistan, which have their own UAV capabilities in the region. Both countries have inducted CH series of reconnaissance and armed UAVs, including the unmanned assets on the border with India. China is currently integrating a range of unmanned aerial systems into its war fighting philosophy, which is poised to change the warfare in unprecedented ways, a domain in which India has been found lacking. India's drone push is spearheaded by renowned state-owned companies including DRDU Aerospace Laboratories, Hindustan Aeronautical Limited HAL and Bharat Aeronautics Limited BEL which have decades of experience in developing such systems. According to ADE, the development of TAPAS or Rustam 2 will be complete by the year end and after which drone will be tested with various payloads. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.